One, two, one, two, three, four. Essential Tony Rice Licks. Now I've had this lesson up on the site for a couple years, but I wanted to revamp the video, make it a little cleaner, a little fresher, and to get some up close uh, work on the guitar here. And these are licks. Licks are going to be great for getting that Tony Rice sound or that bluegrass guitar sound you might be looking for, right? And some of them aren't as hard as you may think. Um, we'll take a look. We'll start to just make a lot of them are just one measure long, one or two measures long and it'll really start to give you that attitude, that sassiness, um, that that bluegrass guitar you often hear in the bluegrass setting, all right? So if you wanna download the tabs for this and access the full length version, um, click the link down there below and sign up as a free member. It takes less than a minute, it's easy to do. You'll access this lesson over 40 free lessons at the site, and I continue to add free lessons all the time. So again, it takes just a minute, and you can download the tabs, get the full length video, and uh, start learning some of these Tony Rice licks and styles, that bluegrass guitar sound um, that's a lot of fun to play. All right, so we'll bring the camera on in, throw the tabs up on the screen here for the first lick, and again, download the tabs at the site, join as a free member, and then let's dive in here this first lick. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down six Tony Rice licks here, um, in the key of G, of course. And we're gonna start with the most, uh, kind of one of the most basic ones, kind of to build from. And uh, a lot of these are minor pentatonic driven and with some embellishments. But um, yeah, so here's that first lick. It's just a one measure lick here. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. minor pentatonic driven right there. Um, starts three on the high E, goes the first fret on the E, and then third on the B, back to one on the E, back to three on the B, back to one on the B. So, kind of a little bouncing around there. And then three, four slide on the G string. Three, four, slide on the G. The flatted three to the major three right there. And then the next measure is just like an alternate bass strumming. Um, you know, we land on the open G and I'm gonna finger a G chord. And so what I'm gonna do with a lot of these licks is play the lick and then, and then get into strumming right after it to help us really keep our timing and get this perpetual motion going um, so we can play with it you know, in rhythm, in time, and so forth. So. my strumming, get the timing, and then lick. So I hope that makes sense. We're going to be doing most of these licks like that. Um, playing the lick, the one or two bar lick, and then strumming. So here it is a couple more times real slow. One, two, three, four. G like this, you know, uh, kind of call it the full G. 
I might, that first note, I might play with my pinky, which is totally fine, and then get in just using my first and third fingers, but... to come to life. All right, so now going on the next look here.